Hello everyone, I am Ajay and I welcome you all in my botany field. Today I am going to describe the tomato plant. If uh, we talk about the inflorescence in tomato plant, then it can be solitary or it can be biparous or monopedial cyme. The inflorescence in tomato plant depends upon the temperature. If you can see here, the plant is having three flowers and this flower is arising from this main stem. Then a growing point is here. When this flower emerges, the growing point stops its activity here and the activity is taken over by another growing point that is this and when this growing point stops its activity this activity is retained by other growing point this so this type of inflorescence is cymose inflorescence and in tomato plant the inflorescence here we can see is the monopodial sign monopodial because all the flowers are arising from one direction from this direction so this is monopodial sign now let me show you the floral parts of this plant for this i have to pluck this off here you can see the flower has, is very minute uh, mature flower can vary in size but the maximum size can be of one inch maximum one inch in diameter you can see the five calyx five corolla and a bunch of androsium in the middle you can see the calyx are hairy and estivation of calyx is volvate that is all the calyx are free and they are just touching each other they are totally free from the top and jointed at the base one more feature one more interesting feature in family solanaceae as the tomato belongs to family solanaceae is the persistent calyx even after the fruits fruit get mature the calyx of the flower remain as such you can observe the mature fruit having this green calyx even after ripening of the fruit after calyx now let's discuss the inner wall that is corolla you can observe here the corolla is estivated in such a way that each of the petal is just overlapping just overlapping and let me show you clearly each of the petal is just overlapping and you can observe here one petal is totally outside and here one petal is totally inside and rest of the three petals are just overlapping and this type of estivation is called imbricate estivation and in solanum in family solanaceae or lycopersicum indicum the estivation is either twisted or imbricate in corolla there is two type of estivation after calyx and corolla we have androsium inner wall and androsium are five and sometimes seven in number here you can see in this one i have seven androsium and in this one i have five androsium and one more interesting feature that i would like to draw your attention that all the androsium the its filament 
and anthers they are all fused together and this type of arrangement is called syngenesis syngenesis androsium when the filaments and anthers both are fused with each other and after androsium we have gynosium the female part of the plant and which is this right here small tomato small berry small fruit of the tomato which will at maturity will become the tomato later on and one more feature one more interesting feature in this berry or the tomato is the obliquely placed ovary with respect to mother axis so thank you for watching this is all about tomato flower